We are absolutely connected. We are, it's like, it, there's no question about it to me. There's no separation. That's been physically proven by science. I think everybody's looking for something that they already have. I think the reason that we don't notice it is because we are so distracted by the human levels of our experience. You might not actually be what you think you are. The fact that we are already enlightened, we're already complete, and it's just realizing that you're complete. So everything we do to each other, or everything we see in each other, is us seeing ourselves. And yet the one thing that remains is this feeling of existence. I'm not a human being that has consciousness. I'm consciousness that is shaped into a human being. All of us are energy. A human being is a very complex pattern of energy. I always have been that energy and I always will be that energy. I know this conceptually. Why don't we feel it? And just like an ocean is water in motion, we can call a certain part of that ocean a wave, but it gives us the illusion that the wave is a separate entity in the ocean. But a wave is not in the ocean, a wave is the ocean. And similarly, we might not be waves, maybe we're the ocean. Maybe all of us are energy and we can realize that directly. All suffering is based on the illusory separation that there's an individual in the environment, that there's a person that has to survive, that this specific collection of a thousand trillion trillion atoms has to hold itself together. But if I realize directly that I am energy, and I realize that the body and the mind are a temporary manifestation of that energy, then I can fully accept the death of the body and mind as something that does not happen to me because I was always energy and I always will be. Ego tries to convince us we need to get something, this immortality, that we already possess. Ego is the voice in your head that says you're not as good as that other person. Maybe you need to do something else to make yourself better to add to yourself. You know, and, and that's what it constantly is doing. It's trying to keep you from being you and me right now, loving this and loving this life. Once you realize you're complete, then, then this life and everything in it becomes a play of form. Something to toy with and play with and make something good out of. And, uh, and it really isn't to be worried about, it's to have fun with. You know, everyone is looking for God and everyone is God, and that everyone is it. It's just now, what do you want to do? And once you realize that, then there's nothing you need. It's just play. You know, nothing you do is going to add anything to you. Right. And nothing you do is going to take anything away from you. So, you really is nothing to do except play. And so the only moment that mattered to us right now. I think this experience is so important and powerful that every religious tradition at its core has been trying to convince us of its importance. And if it's true, if the true end of all human psychological suffering is actually possible, it is the most important thing science could be studying. Maybe it's possible that within our lifetimes we could actually eradicate human suffering. And what would the world look like then if every single one of us felt complete, felt whole, and felt interconnected? When you let go of individual survival, all of your priorities change because you actually see the entire world as your body. You see the suffering of others as your own suffering and you want to help. Maybe the one thing that keeps us from actually solving all of the other problems in the world is this persistent flawed thought that we are separate from the world and maybe it's time we change our minds. <laughs>